the more chatty portions. Let's just move that up a little. I want to show you something before you go to sleep. Before you attempt. Ta-da! I traced the lines on a suit jacket. And then I colored. And then I put another color for the shading. And I think there are a total of six colors on this. Two on the buttons, a white color, a yellow color, and then two variations of really dark blue-gray, which will function as black. It, it turned out really well, I think. This, I hope, is going to be one of the outfits for my 2D VTuber, which I am currently drawing and uh, photo editing. I'm doing it entirely with the mouse and it hurts my wrist. <laughs> today, today we've got some new triggers. And I bought some stuff, so funny story. Let me tell you the funny story while I... Uh... Oh my. That's pretty good, huh? So, I asked my sister about makeup brushes. She said, I just use the makeup brushes that come with the makeup I get. I don't know anything about them. So I asked another female ASM artist if she knew about makeup brushes. And she said, oh, just get a couple of them. <laughs> I think. I think that's what she said. It's been a while. So this is an eyelash brush. of this. I can't quite get it at the angle I want. I hope it's very tingly for you though. there. Ooh. Yeah, that's quite a bit better, isn't it? And my voice is quite a bit crisper. Good on me for actually moving my audio interface close enough that I could <laughs> twist the dials on it. This is how it should be all the time, but... Ignore that car. Please ignore the car. Don't hear it. Don't listen to it. It will disappear if we just ignore it. Anyway... been doing a couple things, mostly do, doing uh, photo edits, video edits, and I've gotten good enough with them. say, hey, can you put this face on this body? 
I'll be like, sure. Give me like an hour. I'll put a sword in their hand too. They'll be standing on a mountain of bones. <laughs> it's not a very relaxing topic. Imagine being in an airplane and being like, I am going to fly over at this exact moment and low enough that they can hear me. After no airplanes. No airplanes have flown over for the last two hours. This is the back side of the brush, by the way. This particular eyelash brush came with like a... I want to call it a mini paintbrush. Oh. That's fantastic. This little paintbrush. I think it's like a makeup liner for your eyebrows. Actually better than the primary brush. What? <laughs> because the bristles are all soft and small and compact. That's nice. Here, here, here. Let's let's let your other ear hear. originally orange by the way I can recolor it orange and I can make it look like the logo never existed which means all the images on the internet are now mine I believe I theorize that I could even take one of those images from a uh, a pay to use site Using this tool and some brain work, I could get rid of the watermark that's over the Wall had 
never had a hole in it. It was just solid brick the whole time. Unless you looked real close, then you could see that the bricks didn't really line up. Some of the bricks were overlapping a little bit. is progress. Oh, I did not expect that. Imagine rubbing your finger on it instead of rubbing it against the microphone. random 
of stuff. That would lead to assumptions, of course. Because you see, when you post vague things, people will assume things to fill in the gaps. Lesson number one, do not post vague things. Lesson number two, do not shout at people for assuming things if you post vague things. Lesson number three, do not make the horse girl VTuber cry, although I guess she's a fox. Her ears look like a horse, though. So I, I counted. I photoshopped nine items into an image. I replaced the sky. I put a black hole in the sky. The original was a catacomb, so I removed the ceiling and put a sky instead. There was a big grave surrounded by a bunch of skulls and stuff, so I wrote drama on the grave, as in she had slain the drama. I then photoshopped her head, which I uh, screenshotted from a YouTube video, onto a samurai lady's body. With some bigger brushes here. That's not bad, is it? These are fluffy. Get fluffed, nerd. brushes. They are very soft. Can you feel the softness? Can you feel the softness on the ridges in your brain? Whew. A little too aggressive. So this particular VTuber who made fun of the horse girl I had already made a video kind of poking fun at him before any of this happened because he seemed oddly contradictory. Like, why would you don't trust authorities. And then the majority of your content is you re reacting to uh, police videos. It didn't make sense. Don't trust the authorities, but I'm going to watch police taking down people that are crazy, people that are high on drugs. What an odd combination. nerd. I'm getting all the dust out of there so that you can use it properly. 
easy to manipulate them. just heard what I just heard through our good friend the black 3DO my favorite sound was the eyebrow lining brush and not the eyelash brush or the foundation brushes and definitely not the eyelash rubber separator um comb I guess it's a comb yeah, so, uh, y'all leave a comment which one was your favorite. I'm going to leave you with some classic ear pick as I hopefully finish at least one of the trains of thought. Some of my ASMR favorites, some of them from large VTuber agencies, are doing some naughty things on the side. People that I would not have expected are making a little money under the table. always a bit shocking for me to hear because I expect people are the way they present themselves because that's what I try to do that's who I try to be you see pressure Orion and if you were to meet me in real surprised because I'm fairly open I don't have a lot to hide I joke that I'm not blackmailable because anytime somebody would come to me with something and say oh this horrible thing if you don't give me money or do this or that I'm going to go public I would immediately go public with that thing to their ASMR. 
ASMR. They're normal ASMR, mind you. Some of them do spicy ASMR as well. And it's like they disappointed me. from such and such place because the internet is full of very wild people who can track you through all sorts of weird ways and so your fan base would actually increase in both places. I've often thought about adding spicy things into this channel because it's an easy way, an easy way to get more clicks. But thus far, my decision remains unshaken. While we are not a family-friendly radio station, so to speak, at the end of the day, I am just a dude who likes chicks and enjoys looking at various things. And I think that's normal. I reflect on it. Weaponizing one's body to make money. Not quite normal. But I'm not going to hate on them. I still very much appreciate their content. The say-so content and the not-so-say-so content. is a double-edged sword. Food. 
aspects of VTubing. And yet, because sex sells, we are unlikely to get much difference. Those who do not of it are probably going to stay small for the most part. Anyway, those were just a couple thoughts you can disagree. It's been a while since I've gotten into a heavier topic like that. But I think it's good to talk about, because it's good to think about and decide your position on. Not so that we can take up rocks and throw them at each other, but so that we all have boundaries and respect for each other. We are human, after all. No matter what we hide behind. Thank you, friends, for listening, if you've listened this far. I hope it wasn't boring for you. I hope you don't mind all the weird vehicles that have decided to drive by my room. <laughs> I gotta do this at night, on my weekends. Instead of trying to record it the day of, and posting immediately after I make a thumbnail. Which is what's going to happen today. It is 4.30 on Friday probably going to get it up on YouTube around 5, with a new thumbnail based on this background. This is a nice background. I found it about two minutes before I started streaming. <laughs> I've been procrastinating a lot. And you will come back and see me again soon.